Hello and welcome to Unreal 2. So playing the demo today, it's uh, I think it's just a few areas or something, but I've played the first one of this and I've enlisted the help of my beautiful assistant here today. So this is my brother Mike. Mike just wiggle, <laughs> yeah, just wiggle your character around so everyone knows you're not dead and you're not being held against your will. <laughs> Right, let's get in. So, Unreal 2, it's a kind of chaotic co-op uh, roguelike uh, train building game. Well, not train building game, it's a train track building game, isn't it? Like a railway builder. Right, I think you have to stand on here, Mike. So, the, the multiplayer features aren't like in the demo, but you can work in remote play. Uh, A to skip, Mike. We need to skip. Yep. You've been chosen by the United Rail Division to connect the biomes of this world to join the unrailed network. Go. This is the employee orientation program that will bring you up to speed on all things unrailed. Uh, I'm Ada, your manager, with our newly prepared engine, I'm sure you'll get further than the last team. But first, let's clear the path to the train by cutting down the trees and removing the rocks. Ooh. Waiting ah. for the balloon. So, basics of the game. Oh, I've got a lollipop now. Oh, speed things up, you can dash over short distances. Oh, you do like a combat roll now. If you need a free hand and quick one to avoid interacting with a wagon or the tracks, you can drop items directly to the ground. Oh, there's a designated drop button now. Why do I have a giant lollipop? Right. Eh. Uh. I've. I'm meant to be doing something. Each player has to drop an item. Mike, drop an item. I, I, I I'm, I'm froze. I can't do out. What do you mean? Well, your screen's frozen. Or your inputs frozen. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm frozen. I don't, I'm. I don't know what's going off. Right, hang on. And we're back. Right. Initial uh, complaint. We've found out how to do an online lobby, and you have to go into, like, the... Oh, you, you had to, like, press play, but then you had to press go online, and it wouldn't let you press it unless you, it, like, brings up the... Like, the button's greyed out, but when you go on it, it brings up, like, the terms and conditions, which then ungrays it. It's like a mess of menus. Uh, do you want to get your mic? We'll start it up again. Yeah. Go, but, go, yeah, it's, go, a, go. it's a bit of a menu mess to get it set up. I think there should probably just be a, you know, start lobby, you know, open lobby button. Now, right, press skip, 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 punch the robot, kill the robot. <laughs> oh, God, wait for the balloon. Fight for the axe! Fight! 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 <laughs> dash over short distances. Right, dash. Right, avoid interacting with over there. Drop items quickly on the ground. Pick something up. Drop it. Go. I like how there's a specific drop button now. They've tried to like, use more than one button on the pad. Because that could be a problem before, couldn't it? How do I do that then? Why have I got a lollipop? It's to prevent you from like nicking it and mining all the rocks so that I can't finish the tutorial. Use a trap craft on the wagon and the wooden, wooden iron you've mined to make the things. Right. So if you're familiar with the first game, basically what you have to do because it's a roguelike, we have to put the materials on the uh, crafter here. 
That then crafts the track. And we place the track at the front. Oh, I'm getting a bit of lag. I don't know about you, Mike. Mm, no, I'm good. Right. And by doing that, we extend our railway. Right. Uh, we have to... You have to craft a track, Mike. Mike, craft track. I'm trying... Yeah, I'm trying ever so hard to pick, this th pick these things up. Wood over here. Yes, but that's the issue. I can't pick anything up. Oh, maybe because... I don't know, it's... It's giving you that lollipop because... Oh, you're doing a combat roll, knocked it out of my hands. You must have put them on here. Even though I laid the track, you must have crafted it. Should we start the train? Yep, press... Mike, skip. Skip. Press A. Go. <laughs> Heads up, I haven't gotten around to installing the brakes yet. Better be quick with the tracks. We've already planted uh, stations ahead of you. They just need you to connect the track too. So, if you're familiar with the first game, it's essentially the same thing. You craft the track, you place it at the front of a train. Train very slowly shuffles along here. And you craft more track so that it doesn't crash. How, how do I mine? You get a pickaxe, Mike. You're using a lumbering axe. Oh, but it's not, yeah. well, what's the Wrong button? type of axe. You just walk into oh, it. Yeah, okay. I wondered. So as you can see, the controls of the game are designed so that a child can do it. <laughs> Remember, you can bring multiple as well, stack them on top of each other. So don't just, you know, put one on there. You suck. Maybe this should be the last one. Oh, the thing's about to explode. It's going all red. And that's our problem because... Once you connect the tractor station, it's connected to the unrailed network. Mike? Mike, press the button! <laughs> God damn it. Am I going to have to be yelling at you every minute that we do it? From here, you have access to upgrades for your train. Different stations stock different upgrades. Oh, so there's different station types, I guess, now. But unlock different upgrades. The station is a shop and offers a new wagon you can buy and attach to your train. Storage wagon. Stores wooden iron for other wagons. Each station also has a map that gives you information on the upcoming sectors. It shows you what you'll find at the next station and how hard it is to get there. To exit the station, just stand on the plate where, you're, where you want to head next. Right. Uh, here both paths will le lead you to the brake fabricator where we can finally add the brakes to your train. Okay. Interesting, so the previous game you would basically do this over and over again and you would eventually upgrade your train, that would give you access to a new biome. You would start at the woodland, then go desert, snow, I think they were like a Halloween one and then I think you go into space or something. I don't think we got quite as far as that, did we Mike? <laughs> I don't remember. In our play sessions. I think, we got, I think we might have got past the snow ones, but that's about it. Um... Essentially, as uh, the better you do, and there'll be like different challenges in in between areas, and sometimes hidden currency throughout the map. But you gain currency via that, and as you can see up there, we've got uh, bolts, and that's the currency you obtain. And you also get one when you get to the next station, and you spend those on the wagons here that you use to upgrade your train. We have two of five wagons at the moment. As we upgrade the train, we'll gain access to additional wagons and so on and so forth and that's kind of where the roguelike aspects pop uh, come into this and uh, the replayability of trying to get to, uh, do better and better runs this though is new isn't it so you didn't have this like choose where you're going to go thing before you just went somewhere so it looks like this is going to give a crate who oh, don't both stand on it this will give a crate that will give three bolts and is of medium difficulty. This 
uh, if I stand on it, is a shop that will give two bolts. So what do we think? Create for three bolts or shop for two? Shop. Right. So this element of it is completely new. This like choose your destination type thing. Train is moving. So now that we've got a storage wagon, the storage wagon will throw things to the back for the track crafter as and when we need more materials to craft the track. You want to cross the river? Yes, we do. Place wood on the river to create bridges. Right, that's your job, Mike. You're the wood person. I think well. There's some trap there as well, or... Oh, you know, just ignore that. And We're probably going to need more of a bridge than that. Because otherwise we're going to be stuck on this side and the train's going to be on that side. So it gives like a footpath to get round. If you would. Damn it. Looks like your engine is out of water and has just ignited. Take this bucket to get some water from the river to extinguish it. Are you doing that? Yep, I can do that. Right, you don't just like walk into this. You have to like press an action button when you get to it. Now, one thing that you can do that can be quite interesting with this game, so we could right now go straight to the finish here, but where's the fun in that? So what we're probably going to do is gather extra resources and place them next to the station so that next time when we start after this level, we can start with some extra resources stockpiled at the end here. So we've got all this additional uh, oh, iron we'll now. We'll see, if, we'll see if this works. Well, it did last time on the previous I know it did game, last time, so. They may have fixed it. <laughs> I would assume. Well, it's not really a fixing it, it's not really a bug. Right. Get the track ready. I'm not done yet. Let me stack a bit more. Do, 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 do. And so now we can start next time with a big stack of stuff, should we need. This shop offers some additional, uh, some useful extensions. Extensions can be applied to wagons and will modify their attributes or behaviour. So extensions previously, I think they were, you would upgrade them, wouldn't you? So if you got, for example, a storage wagon and you bought a second storage wagon and placed it on top of it, it would create a storage wagon level 2 that would have additional room. For Just as an example. You could do the same with, say, a craft wagon and it would craft things faster and it would stock more, uh, it'd stack up more tracks before it stopped crafting. But it looks like they've moved that onto a separate upgrade path with these extensions then, so... Allows you to pass through the wagon, increase wagon stack size, uh, picks items very close to the wagon onto the wagon. So we've got some interesting picks there. So I would go as far as to say that increased wagon stacks, I think all of these would be good on the storage wagon, to be fair. Though we've got enough for two. Should we go for stack size? And it looks no. like you've got three slots per wagon. So we'll go for that and we'll go for the magnet pickup. So our storage wagon will now pick up things that are close to it and has additional stack size. Our That's only like option that. is to yeah go to the biome junction hard rating that gives us plus four bolts and probably sacrifices us to Cthulhu. Do you want to hop on? It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's death. It's got a death mark. It's death. 
Before you finish your training, we still have to add the brakes to your train. Yeah. Oh, it looks like the brake fabricator is on fire. Can you connect the track so I can perform diagnostics? Um, uh, so this I is basically need... like... So this is new. This looks like essentially a boss level. We probably want to focus on just uh, crafting stuff now, man. I'm gonna build a bridge. If you've got all the wood over there, alright, I've mined this. If I. What do you think about here? Oh, I died. <laughs> I lost all the wood I had as well, by the way. That's not good. I, that's new. Oh, wait, no, I was still holding it. Um, are you putting a path up next to this? Yeah. It's yeah, hard to just get where to put the pack bit little. Um, where is the bucket? Oh, there's the bucket. There. Bucket is there. Why you put track there, you? Okay. Anyway, as you can see, this is when the game What's gets that? a bit more hectic. <laughs> Little bit more. <laughs> um, are we ready? I'll leave that trap here so we can just grab it whenever. Get everything just stacked up, I guess. Right. Attached. Going. Oh, that killed me right at the end. <laughs> <laughs> I've conducted diagnostics. It appears that the brake fabricator was hacked remotely. What was your thing? Right, and we're back. We missed the dialogue, but essentially, general gist is uh, the brake machine is broken. We're not going to have brakes on his train, but we can choose one of these upgrades instead. So... We can have gain an extra dash per dash, chop trees down 20% faster, or increases the probability of having easy maps by 15%. Mm. I don't mind. I'm going to go turbo axe. But yeah, I'd say... Oh, okay, you, you get... Um... I think you might get one each. I don't know. Do you want to get the the easier maps then? And I'll be the log cutting guy. Yeah. Okay. Right. But yeah, I'd I'd say it were technical issues, but it's more like uh, young child related issues. This one isn't yes, it today? Young child. Yes. <laughs> right. You're out of uh, the training facility. Make sure to keep the train from derailing. You've also reached your first new biome. Once you reach a new one, you can start from it in the future. So we don't have to do the tutorial over and over again. Nice. So um, I am the stone guy now. Probably. Sir, simple as it is so far. Well, the other one was simple enough, wasn't it? It's still very 
still, it's, uh, well, very similar to the first one. Well, it's what you need sometimes, isn't it? Just more of the same in a sequel. There appears to be a mole in front of the tracks. Okay, that's a bit of a... It could be a bit of an issue. Get him, Mike. Oh, I can actually do some of that. Well, you are the person who digs, you know, you've got the... Uh, the pickaxe, haven't you? Why is the dynamite there? Why did it leave dynamite? Oh, blow this lot. Awesome, that was good. Move this further around here. By the way, if you just put stuff like me on the sides of the tracks, because we've got that magnet upgrade, it will pick them up. Oh, can you see the bolt down here? If I go down here to grab this bolt... Mm-hmm. Would you be okay just, like, watching the train and making sure it's all right for a bit? Yeah. Got the bolt. Right, so we've got a bit of extra currency to spend. And all the wood in the world once I've brought it all back. Uh, Mike, when I said watch the train, you uh, you are not watching the train. I am watching the train. It's about to run out of track. How is this watching the train? <laughs> do, 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 do. See? Nothing happened. <clears throat> Right, let's grab some stuff. Um, when you've done that, redo its water. Right, I'll put some more track down. Alright, just to chill out with this actually, this game, so far. Hmm. <laughs> Until it gets quicker. <laughs> so much quicker. know it's coming <laughs> the dash doesn't seem like it makes it go as far as last time I think it's not as like far and as fast I feel don't know about you I haven't really used it much at the minute Um, do you want to start stacking some of these materials onto the end you know, for the next thing? And I'll just start stacking track and stuff. I think we want an upgraded boiler next. Uh, shall I finish it? I think we're good, aren't we? Yep. Got all the bolts. Right. Wow, okay, we have we have options. Um 
Quest board. Stack 20 items on the ground. Reward 2 bolts. So we can buy this for 1 bolt. And we can get rewarded for 2. Might um, have 20 items stacked at the beginning. <laughs> increased wagon speed. Increased wagon, increased wagon level. Move items from the closest storage wagon to this wagon. Storage bulb. Torpedo wagon builds. A straight flying torpedo from iron that destroys anything or anyone in its way. What? <laughs> brake wagon. So we can get brakes. Decreases the speed of your train. Dash to activate. Recharges every 300 seconds. Works for 7 seconds. <laughs> or a carriage wagon can carry anything you can carry. Uh, up to a stack size of 6. Moves items from the closest storage wagon to this wagon. Oh. We have 5 bolts. Should I supercharge the track builder? Do you think? You can do. I don't think we've struggled too much at the minute. We're getting material. Uh, and shall I buy this quest for one bolt? Yeah. Uh, one bolt kill no animals. Two bolts stack 20 items on the ground. So don't kill anything. So we can go to blacksmith and then a crate or we could go to a crate then the cartridge vault where it's difficulty extreme and there's two hidden bolts or crate for three followed by blacksmith for two which is easy with more animals. Um, do we go with the top one, do you reckon? Two, yeah, then two. Go. This one's three, then five. Ooh. So we could, so the harder ones tend to offer you more stuff, which makes sense, I guess. Um, so two, two, three, two plus. Well, yeah, plus two, right. Math. Shall we go for this bottom one? Go for a medium, then an easy. Right, you get started on stacking stuff and putting some train tracks down. I'll carve through this forest, because we're going to need to. Mike. Mike, the, the track, Mike, the track. Just put the track I'm, down. I'm doing it. Uh, oh, right, that's... we've got... So junky for putting down. It always has been. Um, okay, I guess we'll do that. Um, okay, the extra level means that can stack so many extra things. Um, um, you probably now want to uh, get mining from somewhere because we've got loads of wood there. Um, oh, we do need to stack 20, don't we? Let me see if I can manage that. I'm sure there's a better way to use that dynamite than what I did there. Um, little problem. Uh, I was about to get 20 stacked up. And then it, like, magnet grabbed them onto the train. And can I take them off the train? I appear to have instead grabbed a load of track. Okay. Wait, 
Wait a minute, the animals eat it? The animals eat the iron. Look at the iron going, start going down. Get away! Then stop them. <laughs> what more can I say? Uh, prevent this. Oh, I need to um, get rid of this so we can get through here. Oh, um, where is... Oh, crap, Mike. The, at the back, there's a... There's a bolt. At the back. At the back, there's a bolt. We're, go we're, we're missing it, aren't we? We're not getting that now. Yeah, we're missing it. Get away! Give me that iron. The animals are now annoying. Yeah, don't kill them. That's worth a bolt. Yes, but... I know, but... We have plenty of materials. Have we got the 20 stacked yet? No, because you're not stacking them. Hey. Oh, crap. I've had to kill myself. I placed that next to the wood thing, uh, woodland thinking, oh, I'll just nicely go and, you know, blow up all this woodland and get all of the... Uh, wood in the world. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, two cows just walked over me and, like, ooh, what's this curious hissing noise? So I had to sacrifice myself for them. There's your 20, right. Now start putting them on the train where they're useful. Get away, cow. You know that bolt's only just now going off screen. If we'd have really beelined it, we could have probably still made it, I bet. Ah, it's great. Right. Um do 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 you wanna, yeah, do you wanna do all the like track lane stuff and just getting us to the end and I'm just gonna chop down this forest? Can do. I was gonna say, I think we're about out of wood now, aren't we? Yeah, we need wood. I got your wood right here. Uh, yep, just about to say that. Um, I'm going to try for this. I'm going to go for it. Because it's still just on the screen. I can see it. I'm going to make it. Got the bolt. Glad I went. Right. Beeline for the finish line. Right. Get as much crap on the train as we can. Stack all the stuff that's possible. Get all this track ready for the next thing. Right, would you say that's about right? Well, let's finish it there. Yep. Easy. Ish. <laughs> you found a chest of spare parts. Choose one of the items and keep it for free. I deci I've decided I like chests. You know what? I've always been a chest guy. I, I think, you know, large <laughs> chests for free. I think the world will be a better place if we all, ac all had access to that. Right, slot machine wagon. <laughs> a one-armed bandit on rails. Dash the wagon to try your luck. Oh, they come with upgrades. Increased speed, decreased level. Um, craft a wagon, turret tower, 
gives you a turret that fires at everything that can be destroyed but overheats over time. Reduced wagon speed, increased wagon level by one. Um, I think turret, what do you reckon? Right to it. I've got a feeling it's going to kill animals. Each player has to chop a tree. Build at most two tracks ahead for 40 seconds. Um, okay, we can do that. That's a doable thing that we can do. Right, so don't just place all the track down at the start. I will carefully <laughs> lay our track down here. So at the moment, I think we're too ahead. Okay. Oh really? my god, I got, I got so much crap there. That was more than two ahead that I've just placed here. For fuck's sake. You bet. What's that? Oh. Okay, so when we hear that noise, I can place more track. The bolt, by the way. Oh, we're about to complete that quest. Right. Um. Oh, we're going down. Makes sense, oh, I guess. I thought we were doing that. Um, let me get some track. Where's the thing? There. Right, um. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Bolt is in the middle of that lake above us. Do you want to start going for that? Um, I can try. Have you got enough wood? Um. Down here, we have little to no wood. Uh, you probably want to bring some down. Oh no, darkness. Oh dear. Right, mole has been destroyed. Right. Just build a bridge across, Mike. On other side of that island. Just build a bridge island. across rather than going round all the time. Mm, yeah, could do. I mean, you've got the wood for it. Just do it. Speeds it up. Expedite things. stuff that thing a minute or what? Or oh, the turret. Has it overheated? Um, I don't know. Do I have to give it like stuff for ammo or something? Because it's not overheated. 
Oh my god, the amount of cows on the road. Then the cows. We're nearing the end. You probably want to take these resources and stack them up at the finish line. Yeah. got plenty of um oh it's about to rain right because we've got i think we'll still need some trap but there's wood there isn't there we don't need to go back for the wood i think the turret just has really short range i think it's like a two tile radius around it i think that's what the issue is Here, wood over here. Loads of wood. We need some wood in the train. Wood in the train. This iron you know. up. Put that in the train. More in the train. Right. That we're good. Gives a good start next time. We didn't complete the thing of each player drop a tree. <laughs> Although I completely forgot to look. <laughs> Do you notice that the further you progress, the faster the train will get? Always keep an eye on the current speed. <laughs> Can you see the station on the top? Those... Those not only mark trains, uh, transitions to new biomes, they also lower your train speed. I think we're going slow enough at the moment. We don't need to move on yet. Mm -hmm. The blacksmith station lets you upgrade your wagons and add, extract or remove extensions. So yeah, so we've got like negative extensions like on this one, the turret tower. Ooh, wagon right, extensions, right. Let's see. Okay. Right, we're back. Um, okay, so... I'm thinking... We might want to go to the next biome, actually. Uh, because we are on... <laughs> just being time aware. We're nearly 45 minutes into the video, and I think you have to go probably in another half hour or so. Yeah, I think so. So... Yeah. I think these would commit us to like three biomes, one after the other. So we'd have to do three levels. This would be three levels. This would be at least two. So I'm wondering, just being time aware for what we've got here, I think we might want to go to the next biome and just show that off before we get to the end of the demo. Um, yeah, can do. Let's see. Increase wagon speed. Increase wagon level by two, but will require water and can overheat. So that's a hydro charge. Drops off produced items close by. Auto drop. Interesting. Or we can modify a wagon. So we've got the hydro core. We can't grab that. But we could modify, say, this, for example. So, Mike, shift off here. Build at most two tracks ahead for 40 seconds. That's our next thing. We can also buy this challenge here. Build to the station in eight minutes. Um, we could do. We could go for that. Um, shall we? Time trial it. Mm, go on, risk it. Right. So this would remove all extensions. This would destroy wagon and keep extensions. This upgrades it. Um, upgrade would cost three. Let's upgrade. So it's now got three block radius. If we upgrade again, it'd go to uh, four meters. Interesting. Interesting. 
So we've got a bit of a turret. Um, storage wagon. Upgrade would cost three. Should we see if we can um, upgrade all of them by one? Yeah, yeah. Right, which leaves us one bolt, and we'll go for the next biome, shall we? Yep. Oh, there's an entry fee. Entry fee 10. I thought it meant that it gave us 10 bolts, right? So we need to go and get more bolts to go in. Um, How much will we get here? Um, That'll give plus two bolts. That's plus two bolts. Um... We'll do the medium stuff down this way. We'll see if we can get out then. So much for being time aware. <laughs> um, Pickaxe, pickaxe, pickaxe. Where is it? Oh, you're next to it. Grab it. Grab it. Mine. <laughs> Mine. I think you're killing the... yeah. Well, it should be out of way, shouldn't it? What's this that I've picked up here? Don't know. Right. Um, do you want to do that and I'll go and chop through this? You build track. Well, that turret's really going for it, isn't it? It's shot, it's shot that forest down over there, so that's pretty cool. Bolt acquired. Oh, oh what's on fire? Uh, the turret is overheating. Um, water, you're stunning. Do the thing. Ooh. Close. <laughs> so we're going below. Right, um, yeah, we're going to have to, we can't go, like, above that, can we? Unless we built a bridge. But we've made his choice now. We'll go along here, just go straight. Um, bucket, bucket, bucket. Uh. Making track that quick, it made it... Oh, yeah, it's practically automated at this point, the track making, isn't it? Yeah. And the stack size is a drill. An idea. Right, we need we need more iron. If you want to get uh, get working on that uh, next big block of it. This last bit of track over here. Oh, have you put done like a weird thing with the track? No. <laughs> Wasting our precious track like a moron. Uh, I'm gonna just be. Doing this with a train. You are right doing that still, because I'm going to break us a thing all the way up here. As soon as you've got a pathway, you probably want to come back and just start doing stuff with the train. We're, we're a bit over halfway on that time trial. Getting some uh, water. Uh, yeah, it's, it's getting wood. thirsty for water now. We need wood, don't we? There's trees around here. Get... Do you want me to take over and I'll chop? 
fact I've got faster chopping. Yeah. You work. Uh, you look after train for now. Some track down. Just start to uh, make a bridge on the end. Right, I've got it uh, there. Okay, right. Get all this other wood. Start piling up all the metal at the end. Because we're going to have an excess of metal, but it looks like we're going to oh, lack wood. Time. Uh, we've got plenty. Oh, it's uh, overheating. Um, where's the bucket? Where's the bucket? Oh, you've put it behind there, you tit. Quick, 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 quick. Yep, it's go. You'll need to fill it again. Uh, let's just put it down. Oh. Well, that nearly went pear shaped. <laughs> <laughs> Transform on converts wood to iron or iron to wood. Cannon cart offers the target flag that can be placed anywhere on the map. Where the cannon will shoot when loaded with item when loaded with items afterwards. Okay. Collector picks up commodities placed nearby. Well, we've got a magnet thing for a storage cart, haven't we? Um. Those items from there. Okay. Uh, we can pick up a quest. Hold tools for less than twenty seconds at a time. No, I'm not bothering with that one. I think we're good. Right. Hold on. Right. Um, shall we head into the next bar? Then we've got a crate, and then we've got a slot machine. Yeah. Not sure about whether a, sh a slot machine should be in a game like this. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> um. Come on, Timmy, we're gonna go to Vegas! Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the yeah. way, the thing to do on this one is to be eight tracks ahead. So, not an oh, issue. Well, that, I was gonna say that should, that should take us all of a few seconds. Um, I would just go over this lake. I think, I think just, we'll go over because we, we need a thing to get to the... Oh, I picked a cow up. How did that get placed diagonally there? Jesus Christ, I don't know. Um... We've got loads of traps. Uh, bucket. Where is it? Got it. Uh, now I need to go all the way around. Uh, um, you go ahead with the uh, track and stuff. Uh, we're gonna need more track. Got it, Wayne Mall. Am I trapped on this side? No, I'm not. Thank God for that. Right. Oh, there's a bolt at the bottom as well. How do we get that, though? Build a bridge. Oh, yeah. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Use your brain, my god. Right, we need, we need resources. Oh, we're going down. Okay, well, that means we'll have to cut through that forest, which is good because we need the wood. Yeah, well, you're the person probably for that. 
Right, well, I'll get this stack of iron back, come back here. Um, bucket, come, no, bucket, not the flaming, they really need to, like, make it so that you've got more precision control over picking stuff up, haven't they? It's, it's still, it's track. still very, yeah, it's very dodgy to pick stuff up and that still. I think it's cost. Oh, you know what you can do? You can aim your character with the right stick now. I don't think that you could do that before. But, no, I don't know. That would actually fix one. Maybe that would fix my issue. Yeah. Uh, track, Mike. Track. Track. Place. Track, Mike. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> Uh, water. There you go, water. Okay. Um, shall we focus on moving everything down here now? Um, I'll go and grab some track and get it all. Okay, it's getting very thirsty for water these days, this. Yeah, isn't it? I think... It's getting worse for it. I, I think, think it's because it it's be. based on distance. So I think it might be like, because it's going further faster, I think it's getting thirstier quicker as well. That's my theory. Uh, bring the iron down as well. You haven't brought any iron down. All this track we've got stacked up, lovely. Right, good. Yep. Awesome. Oh, and the chest we get a free thing, a uh, torpedo wagon, um, Compact wagon. Harnessing the power of compression, this wagon compresses commodities into a singular, immensely valuable resource. Drops off produce items close by. What? Eh? Okay, um, let's go to the next one, I guess. Oh, what's the quest? Only one player is allowed to carry the pickaxe. Um, shall we take it? On them. You're the pickaxe man. And then it'll be next biome. I think we will need to go. Wait, do, do, Just um, go through for a moment. I need you've you've not got rid of this one. I need space for track. It's going quite quick now, by the way. So be wary. Actually, near enough straight, dude. If we could get oh, it's all heating. Uh, 
Um, I don't know what it is at the top, but there's something up there if you can get to it. I I think we might struggle. Right, I'm gonna get the axe. Um. Oh, you got that. Right, good. Yeah. Um, I need wood. Oh. Um, yeah. right. I'm chopping down this forest. Uh, it's about to overheat again. Yeah, we need to get to the next biome quick. This is becoming a problem. It's definitely based on distance. And probably what it could be what it's pulling. Might also be, yeah. You might not be wrong there. Uh, I've got a double sided bridge here. Yep, you get the track. Uh, I'm gonna build a bridge to whatever this is. Track Autumn 1 has been unlocked. Oh, cool. So it's. You can unlock music tracks. Overheating, overheating. I'm just building this. Getting this built out so we can get to end. Yeah, I'm putting the bucket over on your side here. You've left a thing here that I can't get past. Getting track. Right. Right, just focus on bringing track to the front. Oh, and stopping um, the overheating. Oh, bucket, 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 bucket. Nice, grabbed metal instead of grabbing the bucket for me. What if we put everything in this compactor? What does it do? I guess that's what it does. It does us something. we can and just throw it on the back here and then we'll put the track in I think that's as good as we're gonna get without it setting on fire <laughs> right I think we can probably afford the 10 ball entropy station lets you access our employee reward program oh. Where just some of your unused bolts to see what you get. Um, first off, quest. Hold tools for less than 20 seconds. Nope. Um, do you want to go on this one, maybe? Mike? What is it? Just stand on it. Well, we're about to find out what it is. Fine. Oh, I see. Ooh. So did we just lose four bolts? You yep. suck! Yeah, I don't like this one. It's crap. Right, let's go. Because we need to afford the entry fee. So we can't spend any more. NPC, Mole Chief added to handbook. Careful, now we have... Data from other teams that shows many trains crashing here. Skip. Another train wants to pass through my train. Let's see you get past me. Skip. Because I think our actual train is still going while we're doing this. It's rhyming mole. Let's just get to the junction at the end. Yeah, I think it's... No, I have stopped. We were making a noise, so I just kind of assumed. Right, miners ahead. Build... 20 straight tracks in a row. Well, oh dear. Bye, Mike. Oh, you didn't die. That's nice. Um, do you want to s clear clear a bit ahead for us there so we can get past? Um, 
I'll start chopping down trees. You start just building the track. Oh, I think I can, like, knock it out of his hands. Uh oh Uh-oh. Okay, I think that one's destroyed. Train. Train heat. Train heat. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, no. It's over there. Oh, dear. No. Oh, thank God. I just did it. Tracks. Tracks. The David has landed. Crap. <laughs> uh, heat. I'm getting rid of a mole. Mole's gonna go. Ah, he got me. That's a that TNT radius is a lot larger than you expect it to be. Uh, yeah, get some uh, get some wood on this. We're gonna need it. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! We're trapped in here. We're trapped in here. We're fine. Fine. We're not. We're oh, not. No. Oh, cause yeah, we've snaked it round. Um. Okay. Um. Grab the... Right. yeah. Right, there's plenty of uh, metal here. Does he destroy resources? No, he doesn't. Right, good. Um, get tracks, 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 tracks. Um, you're going to have to build a bridge over. Build a bridge over. Build a bridge. Use that wood. Build a bridge. Quick, 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 quick. Tracks, 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 tracks. Right. Tracks! Oh, you're in the way! You're, you're in the, the way! Hole. You're shouting tracks to me. Yeah, but also that's... Uh, right, anyway, right. Right, Bucket is on this side. Ah! I caught the TNT, okay. Um. I died. Tracks, 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 Um, we need this mind. Right. You saw all this out. I'm going to kill them all because it seems to be giving you issues. Um, you're going to need tracks. God, even when you destroy his mole hole, he's still like hitting you from the back. Yes, blow your own mole hole up. Is this helping me distracting him at all? <laughs> Seems to be. I've just not got much wood left. Um, right. Pickaxe is there. Let me get the wood. And I've grabbed up track instead. Great. Ah, loads of wood here. Ha ha ha. Oh yeah, it blew everything up, didn't it? Um, so oh, you could definitely... You... Careful about the TNT. You nearly killed your son then. Wood is over here. Mike TNT. <laughs> okay. Uh, we need to make more track going forward. Good job. Don't matter if it's a bit wonky, it's fine. Um, right, I'll put some track up and then start 
Uh, with water. Get rid of these, they're getting in the way, they're annoying me. Right. Uh, iron. Oh I'm dear. gonna get rid of them all. Mike, just keep your eye out. <laughs> this should be the last one, shouldn't it? Go, 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 go. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, and no, you're dead. Dude, it's over here. It's over yeah, here. But I've got them all. But it's overheating! It's not it overheated dies. yet, it's fine. Where's my. Right. Right, I can't get some more water because you've closed me off and. Oh, okay. Well! <laughs> okay, so it's a little bit on fire. Not bad, everyone has. Uh, not everyone has the luck to get past me just like that. Let me give you a cartridge and slow down your train. Right, we can have walk faster than your friends. Mine with the wrong tool with 50% speed plus 15% for each extra cartridge. Um, all we've got improve your axe techniques, chop trees faster. If I take that again, does it double up? <clears throat> yes, it does. So you can stack these. What are you grabbing, Mike? Uh, what? Uh, what can I get? So improve your axe technique. Chop down trees twenty percent faster. Mine with the wrong. Mine with the wrong tool with fifty percent speed. Maybe just might move faster so you can ferry things back and forth quicker. Yeah. So we have a choice between, uh, what's this, a shop or... I guess this means work in progress? Question mark? <laughs> right. Are we ready? No. Do I need to pause it for you? Yeah. Right, and we're back. Okay. Um, you've picked yours, haven't you? So you're moving faster. Yep. I think that top one's not available yet. <laughs> I think this only releases in uh, start of November, doesn't it, and all? Yeah, it's not far off. Oh, well, Dad's died. What happened? As you did not bring any friends... I can help you on your journey. What? I'm a friend. No, you're not. <laughs> Use the emoji wheel to give the command for mining trees. The There's emoji an emoji wheel. wheel. Um. Oh. What is it? L2. Right. Yeah, Mike, see? I don't need friends. <laughs> it's fine. When I actually comes back in, I'll just ditch you then and I'll go put him to bed. <laughs> so, second biome, evil toxic swamp. I don't know if uh, this stuff will do for... Um... What's it, uh, cooling the train down, but okay. Oh, the mushrooms explode. I'm going to set him to, uh, uh, mine. Um, oh, he needs the axe. I've got the axe. No, no.
Um, there's spiders. I'm just now realising to our right that is all spiders. Okay, so he's mining the complete wrong area. Um... Honestly, might have been better off without the bot. Oh god, the spider. So they'll kill themselves on you and just trap you. Can you, like, dig me out of this? You can. Thank you. Okay, right. I think that must be the way to get you out. I mean, I think I'm slowly getting out otherwise, but yeah. Um, just dig through there. We've got lots of iron. We just need a path cutting through there. Uh, then we're going to need lots of trees. Oh. You touched the uh, mushrooms, didn't you? I did, yeah. Where's the... Uh, uh oh. Where's the mine thing? I have it. Okay. Yeah, uh, okay. Um, I'm stuck. I've been webbed by a spider as I was doing the thing. Um, do you want to swap, by the way? Cause, oh, I'm, first I'm going to need to put some tracks down. Um, something hit a mushroom. Mike, track, 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 track. <laughs> I'm stuck. Eh, I'm stuck. Eh, eh. I'm stuck. I've got a thing. Oh, the turret can help you out as well. That's cool. We need wood. It'll pick the wood up, don't worry about it. It won't. It's not picked all this up up here. Oh, uh, the... I should probably tell the robot to do something other than, you know... Yeah. <laughs> than wood. Just robot. literally destroying all the uh, wood <laughs> on the map. Yeah, I think he's finally gone to sleep. Yeah, I'll just apologise, by the way, if you've been watching this. Um, it might actually be a good um, selling point for the game. So, my nephew has been going into Mike's man cave uh, while he's been playing. And he's noticed that he's playing a train game, so he's just kept sneaking in, in between uh, rounds. And you've been turning <laughs> around and finding him on the other computer chair watching you. <laughs> yep. Yes, I have, yes. And then I had to take him back to bed. <laughs> so... Small child appropriate, apart from the slot machines. <laughs> I um, I think I'll be having to play this with him. <laughs> what have we got? Mag Tractor. Place a commodity on the wagon to activate the attraction force to all items of the same type. And it's got a ghost ability on it that allows us to pass through it. Slot machine wagon. <laughs> Woo. Or a carriage wagon which carries anything we can. Probably want the mag one, I think. Oh, and there's wagon extensions as well. Increase wagon active time, increase wagon active time. That would have probably been good for the... Uh, what would it have been good for? Maybe to me? I don't know. Um, anyway, I think we're going to call it here, aren't we? Because it's getting a bit late for us, and we're already like an hour, 20 minutes into recording. Um... Uh, if it's anything like the last one, you can save your games and continue them later. It is very... It's, it's like a nice, chill, relaxed, but rather addictive game, this, isn't it, Mike, wouldn't you say? It is, yeah. Yeah, um, it is quite addictive. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm liking the additions. Like, that they've moved, put these extension upgrades on, and then you can choose where you're going, and there's, like, different areas to go to now. Like, there's a shop and crate and... The blacksmith, and they've got different difficulties. I'm, I like I'm liking that. I like that. that there's a few enemies in a few enemies in the um, environments as well. Oh yeah, they've definitely added a bit to hecticness of it. Because I, mm -hmm. I think a lot of these couch co-op games, or I guess in this case, you know, we're playing it online. But yeah, it's you, you want them to be kind of hectic. That's part of the fun. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you you want them to be a bit. You know, you want to be a bit flustered playing it and you're yelling at each other going like, ah, get the thing, get the thing. 
that that's kind of where the fun comes into it i think typically isn't it um yeah yeah but yeah i think it's uh if you're looking for a sort of I'd, I'd say chill but it's also again quite hectic in that type of game uh, it's it's similar to stuff like play up or um, I'm thinking what else there is that's kind of co-op hecticness. Over, overcooked play play up. I mean I would have said games, yeah, uh, Magicka and uh, back in day as well Hell Divers and I guess nowadays it's a bit more. Uh, I guess it still is like hectic co-op into Hell Divers a bit, but it's a bit more serious now. It's but. <clears throat> Well, actually, no, I, I guess upgrade. <laughs> well, I, I guess Helldivers doesn't sit into that chaotic co-op thing anymore because it's all it's it's multiplayer co-op now. It's not couch co-op, but mm. it's it's still stuck to its chaotic roots, I think, can't it? And to mm -hmm. its benefit. Uh, you can also tweak the difficulties on this. I'm assuming you can. You could on the first one. Literally, you could if you don't want it to be a roguelite, you can put checkpoints on every station so it doesn't delete your save. Uh, better if you've got small children playing this, which I think might might have soon. <laughs> I think yeah. he'll be joining you. Right. <laughs> That's going to uh, do it, though, for our coverage for uh, Unreal 2 for the Steam Next Fest. More to come up on the channel. Subscribe if you want to... Uh, subscribe and put the notifications on if you want to uh, stay in touch with what else is coming up on the channel. I've got a bunch of videos planned for various different demos that I've basically... I've gone on to the next fest, downloaded most of the stuff that's recommended or wish-listed on my list. or And uh, I've grabbed a few off the top demo charts as well. So there should be a good bit of variety. Uh, my beautiful assistant, Mike... <laughs> I mean, he must be beautiful because he is related. So, um, <laughs> but <Yeah. laughs> but you, you might be back with us on. Uh, I've, I'm I'm probably gonna have to drag you back on sand at some point to get some footage. So you might see him again. Um, but thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in future videos if you watch them on the channel. I'll see you then. <laughs>